So I realize it's been two months since I have filmed a video. Honestly, if, if I'm being very honest and transparent, I haven't even thought about filming a video um, in the past two months because I've been so busy. So the last time I posted on YouTube, I was announcing with Gibson our engagement, which was so exciting. Um, that was like right when I got back from New York, like a few days after I got back from New York. So I went to New York with Deb, came back, filmed that video. And then a few days later, we all got COVID. Um, it kind of like trickled from one person to another and then we ultimately all got it. So that took up a lot of time. Um, so there's been, and then the wedding planning, the house renovations, there's been so many things that have taken up a lot of my time. So that is why I have not filmed. Um, I've been so busy. So I thought I would do a video, catch up with you guys, uh, share details on the house, share details on the wedding, give you like an update. Um, I'll put like the most like asked questions I get. Um, I'll try to answer them now. Okay, so where do I begin? So let's start with wedding planning. That's really exciting and it's really fun. So wedding updates. We have, oh my gosh, I need to scoot this chair back. I'm trying to cross my legs and I can't. Okay, so we have gotten a date. We have a date. We have a venue. We have asked the people that are going to be in the wedding to be in the wedding. I know I have. I think Gibson's asked most people. I'm pretty sure. So my next adventure will be photographer slash videographer. And then after that, caterer, florist, DJ. Those would be the main things. And then I'm in the market to look for like a day of coordinator or just someone to help me um, like the month of the wedding to help me with, help me, especially the day of, but you know, helping me with that. I don't need a full planner because I kind of know I can have, I have an idea and I have time to plan my wedding. I just need like an extra set of hands to do some emails, do, like, like an assistant almost, if that makes any sense. So that's the things I'm trying to figure out. Um, I'm having nine bridesmaids. Gibson's having eight groomsmen. Um, bachelorette trip. We're going to go to Nashville. Um, I had either Nashville, Miami, or New York in my mind. Um, New York, really, I ruled that out very quick because with such a large group, New York would be so hard. Hotel, we couldn't all stay together, and Airbnbs are not that good in New York, like, at all. They're kind of, like, run down. Um, so if we did a hotel, we'd all have to split up. Miami is nice, but you have to Uber everywhere. Like, Miami's really... I love the beach. Miami's really fun. If I had a smaller group, I probably would have gone to Miami, if we're being honest. Um, I really, really like Miami, but with such a large group and you have to Uber everywhere, um, you know, I, I just didn't. I tried to, I don't know, I tried to keep everything in mind. The group, the size, the budget, the everything. And Nashville just really seemed like a good spot. I know Nashville is such a cliche or such an overdone place, but I've never been. Most people, I think in our group of nine, well, 10 including me, out of the 10 of us, only two people have been to Nashville and both people have said such good things about it. So I think it'll be like a fun little girls weekend vacation for everyone. It won't be like a place we've all been before, like a, a beaten, like beating the dead horse. Or, is that what they call it? Like going somewhere we've all been before. So, yeah, um, wedding is going on at Gibson. I think it's going to go somewhere in Florida. I don't, I don't know for sure. Like, I, like, he's thinking somewhere in Florida. So, he could go to Miami. I don't know. Um, so, those guys will figure it out. Wedding things. We have a long time. We're getting married, like, next, it's like late spring, early, I guess technically next summer. Um, so we have a long time. Um, but. The time will fly by, as I've been told, and as, obviously, we're almost in March. So, that's kind of crazy. Um, what else have, been, have I been asked? Um, dress. The dress is really pretty. I'm only going to have one dress. Some people have asked if I'm going to have multiple. Um, I'm only going to have one. I love the dress. It's, it's, I'm not going to give anything away. I love the dress. And it was the first place we went. And it was the first dress I chose or picked out. So first place, first dress, loved it. I tried on others just to compare and I kept coming back to the first one. So 
that was just kind of like a telltale sign that I needed it. Um, if you're wondering where I went, I'm not going to like gatekeep. I mean, you can, I'm not going to gatekeep where I went. I went to Angelique, Angelique Bridal's, Angelique's, Angelique's in Cornelius. It's right up near like Norman. Um, yeah, I just went there first place. They were really nice. They have a lot of selection. It's a very large place. Um, but there's a lot of like really great places in the Charlotte area. I uh, had three different appointments. I had Angelique's, I had Hayden Olivia, and I had Lovely Bride. Those were the three places I had appointments to. And then I went, so I went to Angelique's, I found it. And so I just canceled the other two. So Hayden Olivia is in Uptown Charlotte. They have very pretty things. If you're looking for a bridal gown, that's a great place to go. And lovely, did I say lovely bride? Yeah, lovely bride in South End. They have like really pretty flowy things, like flowy dresses and stuff. So, um, that's where I saw. And of course, there's Poppy Girls in Gastonia. Um, there's, there's a lot of places in Charlotte. So, um, but yeah, that's where I got my dress. Um, what else wedding related? Um, the guest list. We've got the guest list pretty much figured out. We're right here. We're right now at like 135. I really wanted to keep it small. Like if it was like in an ideal world, I want to invite, like I want to invite people that I've, I don't know, like guess this is so hard. I wanted to keep it as small as possible. Um, like even, I even had like a, like in my mind, I was like, well, why not just do family? And then, <laughs> but I want to have like all my friends there and stuff. So wedding is fun, but I wanted to keep it small. 150 is the absolute max. Like, no, I'm not going to have 151. Absolutely not. 150 is the absolute max. Right now we're at 130. There's a few people that I've like added, taken off, added, taken off. Um, so, but yeah, I want to invite, I don't want to, I'm not inviting people that I feel obligated to invite. I want to invite people that like I really want there, you know? Uh, and like if people aren't invited, it's not because I don't like them, but it's just I want people the closest to me. The people that family and friends that are just the closest to me. I don't want to invite people to the wedding and be like, oh, how have you been? You know, like I don't want to like check in with people at my wedding. I want people there that I've talked to all the time that are around me often that I know like they're very involved in my life or Gibson's life. I don't want it to be a place where I'm like a reunion where I'm like seeing people that I haven't seen in like five years, 10 years, people that I haven't talked to in years or people I haven't talked to since college or any, you know, I just like, that's not like, that's not what a wedding's for. Um, and maybe that's, I don't know, that's just kind of how that cookie is crumbling right now. So I'm trying to keep the guest list small. Gibson, we're both kind of on the same page where we don't want just a room full of people we like halfway know or we like halfway know what's going on in their life. Like if I only know what you're doing from Facebook, then you're probably not going to be at my wedding. And that's not a bad thing. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I have to justify and explain why I'm not inviting people, some people to my wedding, but like, it's, it's really no harm. There's not like, just because you're not invited doesn't mean anything. Literally doesn't mean anything. Um, so yeah, we're just trying to keep it small and keep our favorite people, not favorite, but the people that are in our life the most right now. But makes it easy. People ask to, I've gotten this question, why are y'all waiting so long to get married? There's a few different reasons. Um, we're going to be engaged for like a year and a half by the time we get married. Yeah, a year and a half. Um, and the reason being is the, the main reason really is we're renovating this house. And so renovating a house and getting married at the exact same time is like a lot on Gibson and I right now. Um, and so if we try to do them both at the exact same time, like I really want the house to be done or like 90% of the way done before we get married so we can, um, like between now and next June is when I'm getting married. So we, we're getting married, um, between between now and next June, I want the contractor to be finished. I want landscaping to, you know, get done. I want to help, like, slowly furnish the place. Like, I really want to spend time doing that rather than rushing to get re married, living in the house while construction's going on. That's, like, a lot. So, and I'll get into the house stuff next. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so 
finishing up the house. Um, I think if we weren't doing the house, like if we were already like, if we already bought a place and we were like bought a place now and we're, I mean, I don't know, we probably would get married this year, but taking one thing at a time, there is really no rush. Um, and then, so that's the main reason. The second reason is kind of, I guess the same thing, like being rushed. I don't want to be so rushed planning a wedding. Now, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people have planned their wedding in nine months, 10 months, five months. Like it is doable, but I want to enjoy all of it. Like I want to soak in all of the moments. I want to take my time picking out the venue. I want to take my time picking out like caterers and photographers like I don't want to just pick the first person that I find or the first venue that I found or anything like that um which I I kind of was feeling that way at the beginning like I was like oh my god I need to start booking everything and I was like Johanna slow down like you have time like do your research um things like that so the more the longer the engagement the more you can be picky with the vendors you have for your wedding um but don't get me wrong, like most people are engaged for a year or less. We're doing a year and a half. So, no really huge rush. Um, and another thing, I guess the third reason is everyone has pushed their wedding back because of COVID. So, 2020 brides pushed it to 21. 21 brides pushed it to 22. And it, like 22, like this year is so booked. Like, so incredibly booked every venue you go to most venues are booked throughout the year um because of covid everyone's pushed it back i think i read something like this like 2022 more people will get married this year than they have since like 1960 something like it's like the big boom the big wedding boom this year everything's really expensive and every a lot of things are being booked up so um i didn't want to just settle for a venue just because like i never yeah i didn't want to like settle for anything so giving myself more time opened up a, a few more doors and more options for us to choose from not just like the first caterer or photographer or venue like that we came across like we were able to kind of have more choices so yeah we're really excited but I don't really have any other updates wedding wise besides that so venue date bridal party dress that's it venue date dress bridal party I've got the colors so that's it that's it for now next house 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 i have been talking about the house for so long okay we started this whole process over a year ago started the process as in me and gibson decided to do it and started clearing out the house we cleared out the house we went through the whole process with the loan the loan took forever to clear it took 13 almost 14 weeks to close on that crazy loan okay it was no one's fault so to give you guys perspective on like a timeline so for the past year we've been cleaning it out and demoing it as demo as in tearing it apart okay from the outside you don't really know that there's like a renovation going on when you step foot through any of the doors you're like wow like i kept thinking like if someone comes to rob this house they will fully regret it because they're gonna like break down the door and see that there's not a thing in the house there's not even floors there's not even walls there's nothing so I just kept thinking that I was like if anyone tries to come like rob this place they will be they will just choose literally the wrong house because they won't have one stinking thing to steal and they still won't <laughs> there's nothing there um so um the loan took 13 weeks to close that's a whole other story me and Gibson were getting so frustrated <laughs> So it closed in mid-December and in January, like what, a few weeks ago, several weeks ago, it closed and the contractor started. And it's been a whirlwind since. So we have been having to make so many decisions. We met um, with the cabinet guy. We fully picked out the layout of we want the kitchen and the kitchen island, things like that. So that took, that was like some thought had to go into that. Like, okay, when you walk in the front door, where do you want your refrigerator to sit? Where do you want your oven to sit? And the cabinet guy gave us a lot of insight on kind of like, cause he's done this for years and they're going to be custom cabinets. So he was able to kind of help us navigate the layout of a kitchen 
Our contractor did too, but the cabinet guy was very much like this was his bread and butter was doing cabinets and laying out kitchens. So he was awesome. Great. If I find the, his name, it's something Hickory. I can't, I can't figure out his name, but he was awesome. Like I would do cab. I mean, if I ever do any project in the future, I'm going to have this cabinet guy because he knew his crap. Like he knew his junk. Anyways. Um, so we met with the cabinet guy, the electrician came. So when the electrician came, he went through and he's like, okay, where do you want outlets? Where do you want can lights? So the house didn't have hardly any lighting. I mean, it did, but not a lot of, there was no can lights like in the ceiling or in the living room or anywhere. So we put over 13 can lights. So me and Gibson went throughout the house with blue tape and we taped the ceiling where we wanted lights. That doesn't sound like a big deal, but when you are like having to figure out like, okay, you're looking in this room, where do I want my lights? And that sounds so stupid, but can lights, you know, they're like that round and they kind of go up in the ceiling. Going through, we put like four in the dining room. Um, oh God, how many in the kitchen? Like four in the kitchen. Down the hallway, we put one or two. In the living room, we put one in each corner. So four, we put, I think that was it. We didn't put any in the bedroom, the office, or the laundry room. We put one in the shower, above the shower, to have like light while you're showering. Because right now there's only one light in the whole bathroom. So we put can light in the shower. So things like, oh, one above the sink. Like you had to think of everything. Because they go through and they have to bring all the wire. I mean, it's like an electrician. That, he, did, he did God's work. He's a wizard. He did wizardry tricks in our house. Okay. So we had to do that. And then, then the guy was like, okay, the electrician, where do you want outlets? So then you have to walk through the house and you're like, okay, if there's going to be a couch here, where are we going to charge our phone? Where are we going to plug in this, that, and the third? If we have to vacuum, where would we need the vacuum to go? So there's so many things we were thinking like, holy cannoli. And then in the kitchen, that, you know, the layout of the kitchen, where am I going to want to plug in a coffee maker? If I'm going to charge my phone, um, the kitchen island, we're going to put plugins on each side of the kitchen island. So if you're sitting there at the island, you can charge things. You can be on your computer. You can... So, going through the house with blue tape, taping, this is where I want an outlet, this is where I want an outlet. And, I mean, we taped up the house. Like, I think, and I, I was getting concerned with the amount, I mean, Gibson, we were like, is this house going to blow up? Like, if we have plug-ins, like, this little house, I mean, the house isn't huge, it's like, what, 1,400 square feet? Yeah, I think 14. Yeah, 1,400 square feet, a little more than 1,400. If we, there we added so much electricity things, like electrical fixtures and things. Like, is it going to blow? Like, in this house, take it. We added so many, like, outlets and um, stuff, like, electrician. There's wires all in that joint. So, wow. Then flooring, having to pick out a floor. Oh, my gosh. So, you see, when you go to Lowe's, you see strips of floor. So, figuring out, do I, well, I like this throughout my entire house. So picking out floors, picking out handles, picking out appliances, picking out appliances, you guys. Holy cannoli. There's a lot of options out there. Appliances are expensive. We had to buy everything. Microwave, dishwasher, refrigerator, oven, the whole nine yards. We, we're using the washer and dryer that's there. It's still usable. Um, maybe that's something that we replace like way later on, but we're going to do what we have now. I'm currently in the middle of picking out white paint. <laughs> there are, there are like over a million options of white paint. So I think I've got it narrowed down. Once we actually paint and start painting, I'll like do a whole video on that because I think there's not a lot of talk about what shades of white you're going to want. So, um, I've been going banana. Gibson's like, white is white. I'm like, no Gibson. This is white with pink undertones. This is white with pink, yellow. There's, you can get any undertone you want. And I'm anal. Like, I don't want to, and you, there's, there's so many options of white. And I go up to Gibson. I'm like, I have like three swatches. I'm like, which shade of white do you like? He's like, they're all the same to me. I'm like, no, they're not. They all have different undertones. They're all, you know, they're leaning cooler, warmer, neutral. Like, no, they're not. So we've been picking out paint color. Um, so I think I've got that down. We're doing Sherman Williams, I think for sure. Um, there, they've been lots of recommendations. The more I read about them, the more confident I feel in Sherman Williams. 
Uh, Benjamin Moore is also another one out there, but I, I think I seem more positive about Sherman than I do Benjamin. But it's paint, so I mean, whatever. So, that is why you haven't heard from me or seen a video from me in two months. Because I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Doing all this stuff. So, people have asked to, like, when do you think it'll be done? The timeline of it, all of this has not really gone the way out, like, in my head thought. Not in a bad way, but just... We didn't think it was going to take 13 weeks for the loan to go through. We thought it was going to take, like, six to eight. And it's it took 13. Okay? So, when I... It's like, you know, you make a plan and God laughs. I think God is, like, bending over laughing. So, at this point... <laughs> um, so... Get from what Gibson and I think, we think the interior of the home will be done in the by summer, so like May or June. What or like the end of February? It's all of March, all of April, May, maybe like late May, early June. I mean, we're not like for sure, but um, that's just what we're thinking. So, and then there's stuff that has to be done on the exterior. We're replacing the roof, we're adding the carport, and then all of the landscaping is going to be redone. So. Um, we're thinking summer is when the interior will be done. And when I say done, as in we can start, like, moving in furniture. Um, I think. Hope. Fingers crossed is what we're thinking. So, a few more months. Um, and they're really rocking and rolling. Like, they're throwing up drywall. I mean, they're really doing a phenomenal job. Like, I'm really impressed. Um... And then, as far as, like, who's moving in, everyone asks me, like, who is going to move in? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be Gibson? We're not going to live together until we are actually married. So, I think we will both move stuff in there, as in, like, clothes that I currently don't have, like, currently that I'm not wearing, like, clothes that are out of season, I might move over there. There's some furniture pieces that I like that I'm going to move over there. But I think Gibson will probably move in, like move in and live there. But we'll both be there like interchangeably, but I think maybe he'll live there. I, I don't know. Things could change and it's like we, it's just five, we're five minutes away from it. Like I, I could be there in two seconds. So it's not like, you know, it's not far, like neither one of us live far away from the house. So I think Gibson will move in. Um, and live there, but I will be bopping in and out. You must, I'll be there daily, uh, so that doesn't like turn into a frat house. Okay, I will be, get my have my eyes on him. <laughs> um, but that's just what I'm thinking. I was thinking me, but I don't know. Probably him. All is well in the world. Just a lot going on. Um, and I might do more of a sit down video about stuff about like specifically wedding things like once I have more planned and things that I have found and like tips and tricks and things that I've done that may be useful to other people planning a wedding or thinking about planning a wedding or helping plan a wedding or if you're a bridesmaid like or and then another I might do another video explaining a little bit more about the whole um like renovating process because there's so much. I mean, I'm 24. Gibson's 23. He'll be 24 soon. And we're not, you know, we're recent grads as, as in like, I mean, we're recently, you know, this is our first like major thing. And I feel like there's a lot of things that we learned that we were not aware of. Like college teaches you a lot, but it doesn't teach you everything. So there was like the process of going through a loan, getting approved, closing, there was a lot on that that we didn't understand and we, I mean, not that we didn't understand it, but things that we didn't realize. So I might do a video on that, um, just kind of going through what, just kind of saying what we went through, um, about like the, the type of money you need to save, why you need to save it, some of the costs that come with getting a loan, um, I don't know. I'm not a, a financial advisor, so it's not like I'm giving financial advice. I would just share our experience. I don't know. Maybe. But, um, but yeah, we've been really busy. Really, really busy. I think um, in a ne the next few weeks, I will um, film an updated video, walk you through the house to show you the updates. 
uh, the drywall, like having drywall up in a lot of the rooms, you're like, wow, it's starting to come together. So that's exciting. I think they're doing the plumbing in the bathroom or they just almost finished it. So that will be exciting seeing the bathroom being put together because right now it's literally just like beams and like it needs some work. So there will be updates on that. I would have filmed this video with Gibson, but he has work today. I'm actually off because today is President's Day. We had, we're off president's day um so yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything else that i haven't addressed work wise update for work so i am i wouldn't say hybrid because that's not like quite the uh, right now it's i'm kind of going in as i please so i try to go into the office twice a week i normally go actually i don't i just try to go twice a week last week i went on wednesday oh no i went on wednesday and friday most of the days I go Tuesday, Thursday. It really just depends. Sometimes I go Monday, Tuesday. Sometimes I go Monday, Friday. Some days I literally just try to pick two days and go. Um, sometimes they're back to back. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes it's straight. I mean, it, you know, whatever. Um, so as of now, I'm working from home and in the office. Don't know how long that'll last, but I do enjoy the flexibility that working from home brings, but don't get me wrong. Like I get when you're trapped in this house for, you know, f when you work from home, when you, when you're in the same place to work, sleep, like live, watch TV, when you're in a house, like all the time, it does like do something mentally to you. Like you start to go crazy. So kind of splitting it up and going into the office, you know, you do, I do have a commute and things like that. That's not fun, but it, it, it does break up the monotony of it all. So um, cannot complain there. <sighs> That's a lot of talking. I've just chit-chatted your head off. Chit-chatted. Did I, did I answer everything? Mm. Yeah, I don't have like many updates besides that. Um, for the house, we picked out the tile for, I think I've told y'all this, the tile for the bathroom and the laundry room. We just need to pick out, I think the next big thing me and Gibson are going to do is go spend some time looking at granite, granite countertops, and the backsplash. I've heard that's that and paint color is like the hardest thing to do. I think I've got the paint color. I think I can put that headache, like I can check that off my list. Like check. Now it's just a matter of granite. Because there's a bajillion options. There's so many options. We've got the floor picked out. Praise God, praise God. Y'all, flooring is no joke. We went with luxury vinyl instead of hardwood. Luxury vinyl, like I'm not, I don't know. I liked the luxury vinyl more than I did hardwood. And it's a little bit cheaper, but it's supposed to be like waterproof, more durable, yachty, like it has all of these more, all like more features. It's supposed to last just as long or longer than hardwood. So, and from talking to our contractor, he said over the last like five to 10 years, luxury vinyl, is being installed more than hardwood is so and i think that's true because there's so many options of luxury vinyl oh my dad's pulling in anyways i guess i'll wrap up this video so i don't think he knows in my car anyways <laughs> i'll chat with him and i guess i'll talk to you later so see you guys on the flip side bye